Prince Harry isn't done with his family yet. Turns out he's re-releasing a new edition of his book, Spare. Anyone else getting tired of this guy? Anyways, let's just get into it. At last, Prince Harry is publishing his memoir, Spare, in paperback. According to Penguin Random House, Harry's book will be released in paperback in the US on October 22nd, 2024. The paperback edition is anticipated to release in the UK on October 24th, 2024. Penguin Random House stated that the contents of the paperback edition of the memoir are unchanged, in contrast to claims that the Duke of Sussex was searching for more sensational material to put in the book's new format. The new edition will have the same cover image as the hardcover edition, a newly designed package, and the contents of the book are unchanged, the publishing company said in its statement. I think since it's like basically the same book, he's probably dropping the paperback version now because he's looking for a reason to stay relevant. Everything in the media has been about his wife or Kate, so he's probably really thirsty for it. In its first week of publication, Harry's Expose, which was published in January 2023, broke the record for the fastest selling nonfiction book ever. Guinness World Records stated that on its first day of sales in the US, Canada, and the UK, it sold an incredible 1.43 million copies. Harry revealed revealed many of the royal family's secrets in the biography, which was supported by a series of TV interviews. This caused his relationship with his father, King Charles, and brother, Prince William, to fall apart. There really was no other option. He said he was just meant to be Williams' spare parts and went after the firm for how it handled his wife, Meghan Markle. Harry accused the future king of putting his hands on Harry and putting his finger in Markle's face, calling his older brother mean, too. In order to preserve her reputation and increase her popularity, the book also asserted that Queen Camilla, the stepmother of Harry and William, had provided information to the media about the royal family. Harry stated he had ample material for even more books on his life as a royal when doing press for spare, as he eliminated over half of the original draft. The first draft was different, he told The Telegraph in 2023. It was 800 pages, and now it's down to 400 pages. It could have been two books, put it that way, and the hard bit was taking things out. The Duke clarified that he altered the book because he was worried he would break things off irrevocably between William and Charles. There are some things that have happened, especially between me and my brother, and to some extent between me and my father, that I just don't want the world to know, said Harry, because I don't think they would ever forgive me. Kinsey Schofield, a royal specialist, suggested that Harry is holding off on releasing his second biography until after his father's passing. Harry was cautioned by a different royal consultant not to write another memoir because doing so would slam any hope of future reconciliation with his estranged family. Nevertheless, the things Harry wrote in his book and said in his and his wife's Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan, in 2022, caused enough fuss to his family ties. There have been reports since Spare came out that Markle intends to write a a candid biography on the difficulties with her mental health that she had while living at the palace. In 2021, Harry and Meghan and Penguin Random House inked a hefty four-book agreement. This comes off the head of their 17th staff member quitting their position. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have more demands on their hands since a TV executive departed their production firm. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex worked with a number of large companies, including Netflix and Spotify, when they created Archwell in 2020. But since Archwell Productions manager Bennett Levine left the company, things seem to be getting worse for the couple. Bennett is the 17th employee of Meghan and Harry to leave the company since their 2018 marriage. According to PR specialist Ryan McCormick, this implies that there is unpredictability behind the scenes. Speaking exclusively to the Mirror, he said, Bennett Levine leaving appears to be an indication of unpredictability behind the scenes. According to a 2023 Mirror article, Harry and Meghan only put in one hour a week at Archwell. One hour a week is 2.5% percent of a typical 40-hour work week most people work. That shows a considerable lack of effort and commitment. You can't expect employees to be their best if you're not willing to set a good example. This could have been a reason why Levine left. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and we hope you have a great day. Peace out.